Yo, what's up guys, it's Bando. I'm here with another permanent NPC model tutorial for PSU Offline. Do note, this does not work with the uh, Clementine private server. But I made a tutorial video with a, a table that I made that streamlines this process. But if you want to do it the original way and be able to have a little bit more creativity when you do your NPC models, then this is a tutorial for you. Go ahead and make sure you have PSU Offline open and have Cheat Engine open. You want to click on this icon here that says select process to open and you're going to select the fantasy star universe offline and then come back over to the game hit story mode go ahead and hit new game for the video's sake i'm just going to make a human mill to make it a little bit easier i'm going to hit next hit next hit next one more time go to name input i'm going to name my character bando name it whatever you want you're going to come back to cheat engine you're going to change the value type to string Make sure you have UTF-16 selected. You're going to come up here and type whatever name you put into the name box here. Type it, or type it right here. I'll hit first scan. You'll see a couple addresses pop up. It's usually the first one, so you're going to double click, send to the address list. You want to right click on this, hit browse this memory region, and this is the correct one. If you're doing human mail, you'll know it's correct because if you come down here, you will see the uh, 00060000. And you'll see 00060001. That's how you know you got the right one. So what you want to do is uh, character models and the clothing and stuff is an array of bytes that's 24 bytes long. They're in six sets of four. So you'll notice the the four sets of two bytes here, another four here, yada yada. So you want to click on the beginning of this uh, four, the beginning of this set of four here. You're gonna right click on it, hit add this address to the list. Just uh, come to the type where it says bytes you want to do a array of bytes and set the length to four. Oh, let me go back to that hit four hit OK so you have one two three four and then you're going to come back to this one you're going to do the same thing add this address do a array of bytes set length to four do the same one two three four come to here same thing array of bytes length to four go back I don't know why it keeps doing that so you got one two three four come to here add this address to the list array of bytes do length four hit OK one two three four come right here add this address to the list do array of bytes do length four and then one two three four come here click this one you'll know this is the last one you have to do because you'll see the zero 05 at the end of the four the four sets right here see that five there go ahead and exit out of this and go ahead and delete the one that has your name right here uh, I should have named these whenever I did them but you can come here and do what you want to do is zero 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 one you're doing this so you know which one's which so it's a little more organized do zero two zero three zero four and lastly 05 you want to right click on each one of them and click on show as hexadecimal so we're going to go ahead and do that for each one of them now you want to go through and do each one we'll start with the first what you want to do is right click and hit find what writes this address hit yes and then you want to hit stop on each one you only see one process moving you want to click on it hit replace and hit OK and then you can close what this does it terminates the process if you don't do this even if you change it the uh, ID to the NPC model it will constantly be overwritten so you have to make sure to stop the process that overwrites it so we'll go ahead and do this to each one of it replace OK close go find what writes to this stop click replace OK close that same thing right click find what writes this stop it click replace OK just go ahead and finish it out do the last ones OK alright once you have all of these done you uh, I'll put a list of the NPC model IDs somewhere but what you want to do is double click on the value so I'm going to change mine to Sonic and I already know his ID in my head and you'll always change the middle two of these so Sonic's is going to be C6 oh let me go back it's going to be C603 
I'll hit OK. Oh, hold on, I messed this up. One second. I want it to be C603. I hit OK. You'll, he's going to be a little deformed until it's finished off. But we're going to go through and do this to each one. You just want to change the middle two. So it's going to be C6, then 03. OK. He's slowly making his way there. He's going to look goofy till it's finished. So we'll come to the next one. We're going to replace C6. Go on over. 0, 03. Hit OK. Come to the next one. Do the same thing. Change to C6. 0, 03 love how goofy he looks this is the only one you'll notice that the first one's not zero zero make sure to change this to zero zero and do the same thing whatever NPC model you have like I said mine's Sonic so it's C603 hit OK oh shit he's looking pretty crazy right now man kinda like that if you wanted to leave it at this you could but for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and finish finish and come to the last one I've been C603 and boom, that finishes the Sonic off. So now everything is done here on this end. All you have to do now is come click finish. And you can see that you have a permanent Sonic NPC model. You want to make sure the first thing you do is come and save. And you can go ahead and even exit out of Cheat Engine now because you won't need it anymore. You don't need to save any of the changes on Cheat Engine, only in the game. I'll go ahead and log out to show you that it is permanent. Go ahead and wait a second for it to load back up. I'm going to hit start, story mode. Go to continue, go to the file that I saved at the bottom. And you can still see you'll always have the permanent NPC model now. Just figure I do the original way as well if someone doesn't want to use my cheat engine table for it. Because as you can see, you can make him look goofy, make some crazy models, and you can save it like that. And it'll stay, stay as that weird shit permanently. But there you go, guys. I'll see you later.